Hello and welcome to Success Story Saturday, March 24th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. A little bit of a breezy day here, but another beautiful spring day in Arizona. Rhino of the day is this Rhino catalog. Rhino catalog with the order form on the back from the Rhino's Press, the uh, company owned by Scott Alexander, the author of Rhinoceros Success. And Robin is here, great seeing you. And Jose Chavez is here. Robin, it was in your office in Stoughton, Massachusetts, back uh, nearly 20 years ago, that someone handed me a copy of Rhinoceros Success. And I got the Rhino ca uh, uh, catalog out of it. So success story today is about a man named John Peterson, who you might know better as Jay uh, uh, Peterman, rather. You might know better as Jay Peterman of the J. Peterman Company, and I went through the J. Peterman Company catalog, the spring 2018 catalog, about two weeks ago on a direct mail Monday. You can go back and check that one out. We had a lot of fun with it. And some of the comments, and I got some privately of people going like, that's a real thing? So I was like, wow, people really think it was a joke. It was, uh, it was a running joke for a few years on the Seinfeld show in the late 90s. And the J. Peterman Company, of course, Elaine worked for J. Peterman, played by a guy named John O'Hurley. And as it ends up, J. Peterman is a real business, and it is a, an eclectic catalog company, well known for their drawings instead of photos, and most known for their inventive and outrageous and fantastic storytelling long copy long paragraphs about every single item and I went through this on that direct mail Monday a couple of weeks ago um, and I shared right there in the centerfold actually it was this uh, these baseball shirts and a baseball glove are on there so let's see if you can see those again there's the the baseball shirts the sleeves and there's the baseball glove on the bottom and it just so happens that Jay Peterman played minor league baseball I think of the Pittsburgh Pirates organization so he's writing about the glove and the shirts but he writes about all this used to really be this uh, he, they would travel the world and get these unique uh, strange exotic clothing items and other items and put them in the catalog and sell them like crazy because of the copy they sell them at outrageous prices three, four, five, six, sometimes ten times as much you could buy it for in a discount store, like those baseball sleeves. Those are like five, ten bucks at Walmart, and they're in here for, I think, if I remember right, they were like $59, or maybe even more. $69. $69 for a silly cotton baseball t-shirt you could undoubtedly get in a Walmart for five bucks. Or on Amazon for five or ten bucks so it's sold with great copy and it's also sold because that catalog goes to rabid buyers lovers of the J Peterman catalog I rip into it every time I get it and I I laugh my way through it and I end up wanting to buy some of the stuff that I catch myself and go come on now if I did I'm not gonna buy it for that much but you know I don't I wouldn't begrudge the guy I'd go ahead and buy that shirt for $69 plus shipping, 78 bucks or something, because he gave me a few hours of enjoyment, just like you would do at a ball game. You'd pay over $100, take a couple of people and have some beer and hot dogs or something at a baseball game for some enjoyment for a couple of hours. So give them 78 bucks and you get a shirt. You don't even get a t-shirt usually when you go to the baseball game. But anyway, Jay Peterman himself uh, started that business in late 80s, 87 I think, uh, in the style of what was then the Banana Republic. But Banana Republic stopped doing it. Jay Peterman kept doing it, and then the Seinfeld show came along and made them mega famous. But the biggest success that actually launched them into a failure, for entrepreneurs we know that there are ups and downs and sometimes fast growth can kill a company uh, much more than slow growth can. And uh, that's what happened here to Jay Peterman. They made a deal with the uh, producer or the, the studio of the movie Titanic in the late 90s. And they thought this was gonna be some obscure uh, film about a historic event. And so they made the deal that they got the rights to sell all the replica items shown in the movie, the Titanic. And it became the biggest blockbuster of all time, breaking all records and became 
unbelievably successful and won like a dozen Academy Awards. And Jay Peterman was selling stuff like crazy. I think they sold like, I don't know, like a million of like the replicas of that big diamond in the movie for like 200 bucks a piece or something. I mean, just they just cashed in big time of that deal. And so with this hubris of like, look at us, we're great, they they brought got in some venture funding and they opened like a whole bunch of retail stores all around the country and they thought, here we go. And so they they branched away from their core success, which was the catalog, into these retail stores. And oh my goodness, anyone out there ever own a retail store? Jim is here too, good seeing you. Um, that's a big difference from a catalog company, as Jeff Bezos, the richest man of all time, will tell you that it is much smarter to be selling stuff out of warehouses without the storefronts, although now there are some Amazon stores, I guess, because they bought Whole Foods, they're food stores, and I'm sure they'll do all kinds of stuff, but I mean, Amazon killed retail stores when they first started. It was just books, right? They killed Barnes and Noble and other bookstores all around the country, and Toys R Us just went bankrupt in big part to, due to Amazon and so forth. So I'm digressing from Jay Peterman, but they made that mistake. They went into retail. Now, granted, Amazon wasn't around back then, and it was the 90s, and they thought this could be a good idea, but they went into bankruptcy. And so company was sold, and the new company that took it over, they went bankrupt also. And then Jay Peterman came in and said, I'm going to buy it back. And it just so happens, ironically, that one of the investors and now part owners of the Jay Peterman company that came in to rescue the company and buy it back out of bankruptcy and get Jay Peterman back running the thing is a guy by the name of John O'Hurley. Who you may, may, may remember earlier in this recording, he was the actor who played Jay Peterman on the Seinfeld TV show. You can't make this stuff up, folks. So, John O'Hurley, who became famous playing Jay Peterman, is now a part owner of the Jay Peterman Company. Who knew? So, Jay Peterman, uh, if you haven't gotten a catalog, uh, I think you probably just go to their website and ask for it. You might have to buy something, and you'll likely have to buy something every so often, or, or else they'll stop sending it to you. But, man, it's, it's I love it. And if you're a marketer and a salesperson, you got to love it. It's got fantastically written copy, just the whole way it's put together, the whole way it's marketed. I went into it again on a Direct Mail Monday a couple weeks ago. Uh, Jay Peterman, who used to be a professional baseball player, and professional baseball is pretty much uh, all of Phoenix, Scottsdale area, for the past month, spring training, which is wrapping up, I think, this week, in a few days, I think. And the players all head north to their regular teams, except for one, the Arizona Diamondbacks, who stay right here. But uh, there have been uh, like two-thirds of the Major League Baseball teams playing here every single day for the last few weeks. And so it's a good time of year to talk about Jay Peterman, the former pro baseball player himself, and the owner of the, the founder of the Jay Peterman Company, a real company and a real entrepreneurial story. Entrepreneur, you'd think I'd know how to say that word by now. And uh, just showing you, you know, if you're going through downs, I mean, we're entrepreneurs. We go through ups, we go through downs. If you're going through down times, as the saying goes, keep going. Because we're entrepreneurs. Things don't go, they're not on a level playing field like a nine to five factory worker for 40 years and gets a wristwatch and then can't get by on two thirds of what he couldn't get by on before and complains about his job for the whole 40 years and whatever. And, you know, settled in for his one and only life. He's settled for a me mediocrity. Uh, we can have fun, freedom, greatness, uh, enjoyment. We can help a lot of people. Uh, in our marketplace, our employees, our family, but sometimes we have some downs. So Jay Peterman is a great entrepreneurial story. Uh, still going strong. Let's see what happens in the future, but so far so good. And I love the catalog. And that's it for Success Story Saturday here on March 24th, 2018. Hello, Donna. Good seeing you and everybody else that was here. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns. We had some fun, and I'll be back tomorrow. Speaking of fun just to check in and say hello on Sunday Funday. And then I'll be back with Direct Mail Monday and some more business building tips on Monday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, folks. Bye-bye.